Good. Somebody's moved some equipment in to tear my building down, and it wasn't never for sale, nor is it going to get tore down, and he knows exactly all about it. Mick Rudd. know anything about what he's saying tearing stuff down yeah i'm gonna take what i paid for you didn't pay for it i got it receipt i got more receipts than you can shoot a stick at how much what did you do with all the cash you paid cash to me which i didn't want that you paid cash to me for keeping your planes here over and above Rent. what the air strip was no that was never explained to me I'm sorry you misinterpreted it, but it is the way it is, Mick. Well, I didn't ex this experience that. Question. Okay. This is why I put for a down payment. The council check is back here. It's on the next page. Okay, so it's Bantech. That's cancel check for the down payment. And then, then the full amount due. Walk me through, okay, what's going on then? So you're, t you're tearing the building down? No, no, My he's property, trying. To... He's, yeah. His son farms it. They agreed several years ago to put a runway in here because behind, he got run out of the airport at Washington. Okay. It was a bad dealing. He came down here. He's a nice guy, smooth talker. We got along good with him until this last year when he threw par of a bar, he claims. Got talking business in the bar. Is that right, Paul? What's that? Didn't he? Tell you to leave the bar or something, and you start well, talking. Well, he was getting well, in anyway, my face, and I left. So the then bar. he won. Like tell me if I'm wrong, Paul. Yeah. Tell me if I'm wrong. So his airplanes are sitting out here in the snow. Agreed with Paul that he would pay a little extra rent if we'd build a building. We thought that's a good deal. Then he thought maybe five, six years, then we can put hay in there or whatever. Well, now he claims what he paid extra rent for us to house his airplane, he owns the building. Okay. It's our property, we build it, it's set on cement, I-beams, permanent building, you just well, can't it, move them. it blew yeah. away once and I had to rebuild it, so I've actually built it twice. Okay. And I, the guy that's I coming to tear it down is probably never got building down his life. Yeah, I got those uh, papers pocket. right here. Okay. Here's what the loan was, I all the loan history. Here's the so property is it, is it, are you Are you trying to do an eviction right now? Or no. What, what's well, the, I'd like to get him out here. I asked him a year ago to leave, but he hasn't left yet. He's still he hasn't paid the rent either. What, hasn't what paid you, any uh, rent. What do you want me to do? I want you to stop him from proceeding on getting this tore down because I'm tired of dealing with it. Unfortunately, it's going to be a civil issue. I don't know what your guys' agreement was or any anything like that. I mean, I can be here to keep the peace between you guys, but you're going to have to go through a lawyer or something i've tried that i haven't got heard back from my lawyer yet because i mean I, there's nothing i don't know what your guys's agreement was there's equipment on I my private do. property that shouldn't be here so i need to get that removed today nor will any other equipment be moved in because he's uh trespassing. trespassing okay and i will i will trespass trespass Trespassing charges. Okay. What, did you guys have like an agreement, agreement drawn up for him to use your airport? Or no, it was all verbal. I tried to draw it up, but he he wants to do things with no paperwork. No cash. He deals with everything in cash. No receipts. No nothing. Just he claims. Okay. And he claims he gives his money to his son, and his son pays taxes on it. I wouldn't be surprised if you run him through. He probably don't pay any income tax. Okay. I don't know anything about any yeah. of that. I know so. you don't, but. Yeah, talk to Jared uh, Snyder let's not before. talk about his taxes, Dad. I mean, I, like I said, I can be here to try to be have a civil conversation between you guys, but unfortunately, I mean, I'm not going to be able to do who's, an eviction or Whose equipment's like. in there? Uh, I don't know the name of the guy. <laughs> you don't know the name of the guy that you hired to take the building down? I'm renting. I'm paying this guy. And you don't know who the name is? I don't want to tell you. Well, don't want to tell me. You are, uh, so then you are contributing to trespassing. I have a lease for two more weeks, and I get you, you got the piece of paper right there that's saying You don't it. have no lease saying that I got to have somebody else's equipment on my property. I can have whatever I want on no, this you property. Can. Yes, I can. You're trespassing. No, I'm not. I have two more weeks to get off here. Where's I got a piece of paperwork on that. You sent the sheriff's little thing there. And it says once you, you cleaned your stuff out, which No, it says on. September 30th. 
Yeah, you so, need to be gone. Just so I'm, I'm, there's already been some sort of, yeah, like the civil offices came here and served you something? So yeah. They gave you... Yeah, they gave me a notice to, I got to get off on September 30th. Okay. So, you, the, are you taking, the, is that what the problem is? Is he taking the building down, but you believe you own the building? Is that I know I own the building. I'm just saying, is that what's going on? Yes. You're gonna, are you trying to move the building to a new Yeah, well, location? yes, I am. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't know. I mean... This paperwork, I can look at it all day, and it's not going to mean anything to me. I understand, it's have but to I just want to a lawyer. So, I mean, like I said, I can come here and try to have a civil conversation, so you guys can be but civil. But you can't just come and start taking my building down without any proof. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't believe so. I mean, I can talk to our my civil sergeant and see what the what Randy the tennis knows all about this. Okay. So does a Turbo. farmer named Turbo. He knows he was standing here with us when the agreement was made. Turbo. Drag Turbo in all you want. But well, we are going to involve. I mean, he wants to be involved. Well, sure, let him be involved. But it's just your I'm word against from... mine. I know what. No, it's two about. of our words against yours. I'm not familiar with the Turbo either, but I can contact our our civil our civil sergeant. He just came out, so I'll call him. Having uh, see what he wants. Bottom of this. Well, where's all your paperwork? It's inside. Well, let's go see. Let's it. go see it. It's just, sure, I'll, I'll bring it right to you. No, yeah, you did. You got one of them, you son. Want to bet? Let's bet on it. I'll bet the hanger on it. That's your signature on the bottom. Don't touch it. That's my signature on the termination. I never That's what it. I said. You, you signed this paperwork. No, he's talking about the paperwork that you own the building. Oh, you didn't sign that, no. Well, that's what you just said five minutes ago, Nick. No. Now you're lying again. 8-21-2018. Paid Paul Tobin $28,000 cash. That's your pen writing. That's not mine. That's most certainly is. It's my signature on there, too. Paid $28,000 cash. If you added up everything that you've paid me, it doesn't come to $21,000. To put up a building. Are you saying? I have the documentation right here. How much cash do you think I've given you? You give me the cash for the airstrip and a little extra for this. Keep your planes in. You know it very well. Twenty-eight. Thousand I gave you extra nine thousand dollars each. You, if you take three planes for five years at a hundred dollars so per plane per month for five years, you owe me. Plus, you've never paid any rent. Well, you, you are a bold faced liar. You owe me over sixty three thousand dollars in back rent just keeping your campers here. You're a yeah. bold faced liar. Well, you yes, you that. are. And Did you're you, about you ever, to become two of them. Have you ever paid me any rent for the campers being here? Why should I? Why wouldn't you? Because that six thousand dollars is for the rent. Let's have a let's just for a second. Okay. All right. Figure out what we're going to how we're going to move forward here. I think we're going to get it. I guess I can just John's probably on his way into work. I can get him to call and see what he says. So yeah, he is. But as far as if the building's being torn down, like if it is supposed to be, if it is part of his building, does he have the right to do so? But if he does not own um, part of the building, how are we going to stop? Okay. Okay.
Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll give John a call. See what. See what. It, I'm sure he's gonna say the exact same thing though. So we'll. Uh, so I'll just run it past kind of turn and we'll go from there. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. So that was our sergeant in the civil office, Bill. I don't know if he came out and served you the paper as well. Big tall guy. Well, four guys did. I got that paper too. Four guys. Okay. So if you paid cash for the building, you're going to have to sue him civilly to get your money back. Okay. Since the building is on his property, he's saying that since the building is built on his property, you can't build a building on property that's not yours. So he is the owner of the building, but you're going to have to sue him civilly to get whatever money you have in the building back. I'm going to call the county attorney quick and confirm that. Okay. Well, that sounds fair. You know, this is exactly what's supposed to happen. And I want you, Paul, to say hello to all your friends on Facebook because they're going to get to see it. No, you won't. You can't do it on Facebook. Freedom of speech. Whatever. Whatever you're comfortable with, man. No, you get to be the star of the movie. I'm going to give our county attorney a call and see if that's what he agrees on. Listen, I'm fine with it. You ain't got to bother with it. I'll uh, cancel the deal and let him be a liar and a thief. Okay. So it ain't going to hurt my feelings. I apologize Get that skid steer off of here this morning or I'll press trespassing charges on the owner. You can't. I'm renting it. We, I am too renting it. Corporate lawyer at Cedar Falls in Rock Island. Okay. We didn't take any prestige. We just explained it to him. Paul's got a lawyer. He killed us. Yeah. That's he's working Scott on it. Flynn is Paul's been to the courthouse several times trying to get, what was you trying to get the courthouse that you can get? Have? Well, they, they suggest I have an attorney to put an injunction on stopping and selling it. But obviously he's selling what? Sir? Selling the building. Okay. So, so we've been I working on it and knows what he's up to. I check, check the municipal airport in Washington. He's got to move from there. Uh, you fight. helped remove him from our park when I, yeah, I worked out there three years ago, probably. I guess I don't remember. He was the one that had to get removed from the park because he wouldn't stop at the stop sign. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's so do, you, do you guys have an agreement and you can stay out here? Is that what that's no. what the two more weeks is? or what? The well, this is the agreement I have to get off this you property. For, for your campers being do you mind here. if I We have no I agreement. You, see it. you care if I touch it? Oh, no. He hasn't paid this year's rent either. Yeah, I got that bill for you, too. In fact, I'll just give it to you right now. So is the camper just an office, or do you actually stay in there? I live in there, yeah. You live in there? Yeah. All right. So what's what's portable offices? I had one right here. I've moved it already. I've All moved right. everything off of here. Just, just a camper and your truck's left? That's it. Okay. And that trailer. All right. Thank you. All right. So is that... Is that I mean, I can call a county attorney if you want me to, but... Yeah, call a county attorney. I think get, it, get involved. Here's your bill. Pay it. Well, everybody knows about this. Mick was out there for breakfast, and a couple of guys jumped me. How you getting along with Mick? Hey, John. Haven't hey, seen him since. Who? You. Hey, no, I'm not but here. I say I was out there for breakfast. Uh, Several people approached me out there that know you an from the airport. An airport out here. And they've he heard about all this thing. He's been allowed to stay here. Oh, he was served a eviction paper, so he's got two more weeks this to this leave the property. But they do all cash dealings here, and there's a big hoop building on the property that he uh, paid extra. For, for Tobin to build. It's on Tobin's property. Uh, Mick was starting to take the building down. Is, is there any advice you have? I talked to Bill with the civil office and he said that Mick is gonna have to sue Tobin civilly to get his money back out of the building. But since the building is on Tobin's property, he cannot tear it down. Would you agree? He's been doing business out here for 
a few years and they, they had a falling out here recently. So he's been served eviction papers. He's got two more weeks to get everything off the property, but there's a hoop building here that he paid Tobin extra money for, or extra rent yeah, for. He paid to, to keep the planes here. I apologize, sir, what's that? He paid to keep the planes here in okay. year round. And he, they put the planes and some equipment in there. And then, so he paid him extra money for it, but it's on Tobin's property. Bill was saying since it's on Tobin's property, it's Tobin's building, but Mick will have to sue Tobin civilly to get his money back. Is that the way you understand it? Yes. Yes. Correct. The building was put up um, how long ago? 2016. 2016 the building was put up here. Purchased in 2015. And they've been, he's been parking his planes and uh, some equipment in there. Everything except for the camper and a pickup or removed from the property. So. Tobin did. The owner, nope, the owner of the property. That's what, that's what Bill said, so we just wanted to confirm with you. Uh, they both wanted me to run it past you as well. Um, the other issues here. I appreciate it though. Thank you. Thanks. He Glad said the county attorney then? It's John Gish, county attorney. He said the same thing. So since the building is on your property, you will own it. But he if he does have money or documentation proving that he paid for part of it, you can sue him. Okay. To try to get take him to civil court and try to get your share or whatever you think you put in. No, it. I'm just gonna let him have it and leave consider that the pub a liar and a thief. Okay. And then the uh, reason you're not going to sue me is because you don't have the ground to stand on to sue me, Nick. We all know that. I got a wit one witness. You got a witness? I got Turbo who's willing to say that we stood I'm here sure and. I'm sure Turbo's going to say anything you want him to say. That's fine. Then you're going to put a hanger out at his place, aren't you? No. You're going to put his planes out there, right? No. Right. Where are you going to put your planes? Why do you want to know? Don't make me any difference. Yeah, we don't need to go into yeah, all I that. I don't and get in a is there a a compromise for today then, you guys? Is there a way you we're gonna be able to move on civilly with our days? They moved in and don't have any more equipment left in or put here. But it I guess I don't know what your agreement is, but he's got two more weeks, correct? Yeah, but that doesn't mean you can tear the building down in, no. the, in the meantime. I think we're right understanding the buildings. Oh yeah, I, like I said, I'm gonna let him live with being a liar and a thief. All, the, he's got he lives with it every day. That thing that says that you yeah. evicted him, he can't do any damage to the property too. Yeah, it right. does stay in the property. I don't think I don't, I don't wonder does. why they're worried about this. Do I look bad? I don't I don't, I don't think, think so either. It's just, uh, <clears throat> the two more so the property that's uh, the equipment that's still here, the camper and stuff. He should okay. be removed because he has no reason to stay here now. You're absolutely right. But you the the only hand. reason I'm here is to take my hanger, but since you just canceled it and I'm going to let you live with it, I can leave here today. Are you going to pay us rent for this year? No. Oh, yeah. No. Well, come. I'm glad you put that on record. Yeah. You're not going to pay us rent. Why should I? I paid 28000 for this thing. No, you didn't. I got a piece of paper that says I did. Just like your piece of paper. Just because you wrote on it don't mean it either. We're not going to keep going back and forth. This is going to go nowhere. People are going to get heated. And we're already upset with each other. So he's recorded everything there on his little camera. And he has the right to do that. He does. And then can we get him for libel and all this stuff too? I mean, 
people are allowed to, allowed to record, and technically he's not trespassing because he still has two weeks. So if he was trespassing, it'd be different. He can't be on the, can't be committing a crime and to record, but he does have well, we've been his here first for 128 right years on this farm. What's that? We've been here 128 years on this farm. I'm not. And I'm he not, goes down I'm, to the bar and starts playing that. I wonder how many people are going to. Oh no, I'm not going to show it in the bar. I'm going to put it on Facebook. Oh, uh, no, we don't want you to look at it we don't anyway. don't care, because I don't know anybody. Guess how many I know in this bar. Well, what, a, what, a, what makes a difference to us? How many like, people like, in Des Moines but, watch Facebook? Well, as, as, we as, people as I come said, from Des like, he's allowed to, he's got the, he's got the permission to be here for two more okay, weeks. Okay, that's unfortunate. Yes. So, yes. I gave him, that's what I did, Jace. But you are. You know, I gave him plenty of time to get his planes out of here. I was trying to give him enough leeway to get a place for his planes. Yep. So with that said, I've been more than flexible with him, especially even staying here after all the equipment's been removed. So with that said, he is free to leave at any point. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. You know, at the bar last year, the bar. wait, the bar has to do well then can I ask you this question? You were calling me a brother and a friend. And then two days later, we would have coffee every other day out here, right there. And then one day, you came around the corner right here, and you were shaking like a leaf. Why? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I haven't asked the question yet. What has happened since then? You turned your back on me. You said you'd take care of the property damage. You never did. You came out here and took absolute, complete control of this situation. You called the cops. I never called the cops. Joey said he heard it on the radio. Yes, hearsay. I never called. There's no police record that I ever called the cops on your buddy that tore up this property. My buddy? Yeah. He's my buddy. How long ago was this? Exactly? A year ago on the August 15th. Okay. So he knows when it was. It's Blake's birthday. Yeah. Uh, I think. And you did nothing about it. You yeah, you that? took over. Now that's what has happened since then. Tell me. Why have you, you been mean? so mad and so ugly? Cuz you turned your back on me. You did you bother to come up I and ask and me? I have helped I, you work on your planes and and help you this and help you that. I've helped you spray and all that and you turn your back on me. I've helped you do your magneto which is illegal. Oh. You got oh. a starter up there at Kelowna that he hasn't got paid. And he wanted to know all if he's going to get paid for that. Oh, I apologize, you guys. I, I mean, we, you know, yeah. it goes we on go, and on and on. It does go on and on. I think their and gratitude it, button is broke because they forget about all the chemical not, I put on there for free. I'm not, I'm not it could go, you guys Justin could go back has the text that said which guys, field to put it on. You guys could go back and forth with each other probably probably all day if we sit sure, here and listen to I know we could, too. We, uh, so but I'm, I'm willing to, I'm going to bug out of here as quick as I can. I appreciate it. I'll call this guy and cancel. Okay, I appreciate it. Um, so I'm but get his like, equipment off here like right away. He's, you are correct. You can't destroy any of the property. Well, anything. I haven't done any no, of that, and I don't so have a habit of that. Yeah, no. That's and a, also, Rick, he wants to pay for the electrical. You the call, you call him and call him to come over and do something. Is that right? And he hasn't got paid for that either, electrician. And he was wondering if you were going to pay him too. To are wire you? lights in the building or something, or what do you? Yeah, mean? he put some up on the walls here last year. more receptacles for Tuggy's campers in there okay and that hasn't been paid either and Slawball was paid for the starter and he said you hand him a whole lot of cash a couple years ago to work on his magnetos and he, he didn't think you paid him full you just hand him cash and left and so he's kind of up in the air about that too I just seen him yesterday so well, what, he didn't ask for payment. And besides, I paid everything that I owe. I do not owe a dime to anyone. Okay. I don't know. I just including you and, you and you. Well, you owe me for this year's rent. I'll sue you for it. All right, guys. Well, I, like I said, we could probably do this all day. Yep. But I think trying the to best, harvest here. best for everybody if we just go our separate ways. Does that sound fair? That's fair. All right.